Good morning. It is 6.45 a.m. and I am here at the Iron Peak Trailhead. And today I am going to be climbing Tianaway Peak and maybe adding on Iron Peak um, if I have time. But these are two beautiful summits out here on the eastern half of the Alpine Lakes wilderness in the Tianaways. And we got beautiful clear skies and some gorgeous light on the mountain. So I am very excited to get a fun trail in. This does have a little bit of a scramble at the end. So I am excited for that about six to seven miles round trip with just over 3000 feet of elevation gain. So gonna get going. I am really excited to be in the Tianaways again. <sighs> Let's go get some summits. Well, as I'm sure you can see, the view starts off right away with these amazing peaks behind me. Um, and I'm just going up the switchbacks. This is just like a bunch of really tight, rocky switchbacks up to a saddle and then uh, to the final scramble trail to the summit. So this is just like continuous climb, but I mean, the views are not bad. I have reached a relatively flat section that's like, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile long. That's roughly three quarters up the way after doing all those switchbacks. I'd say I probably did about 2,000 feet of gain on those switchbacks. So get a bit of a respite before the final push to the saddle and then the very steep climb up to the summit. So you can enjoy this leisurely walk through these beautiful trees. It's over. Now I just got to bang out a super tight switchbacks uh, to get to the saddle and then uh, get a look at the final approach. Um, as I'm sure you can see, it's a bit hazy. Uh, they're doing a controlled burn somewhere. Um, the wind is carrying it over this way, so getting some interesting colors, but. <sighs> now I got to do some switchbacks and we'll get a good and proper view of the whole situation here for this summit.
made it to the saddle and uh, yeah there's definitely um, there's definitely quite a bit of hate from from a nearby burn they're doing further south that's blowing up the valley but still some pretty darn good views so I'll show you so this way is to Iron Peak and I think I will go bag that but this is the scramble to get up Tianaway and gonna do Tianaway first because that's the harder one and that's the one I came for so gonna fuel up and bag these peaks and now this gets interesting because this is like supposed to be I want to say a light class 3 scramble. It might not even be that. It might just be kind of a loose 2, but uh, I'm excited to check it out. There's not a ton of beta because it's not super popular, so. <sighs> Scrambling in the Yanaway is always good. Echo! Also, okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but this, um, this saddle has a really interesting echo. Echo! You hear that? Okay, so just came up that, and now, looking at the final approach, the summit is just like behind this. Um, so I can go this way or this way. I'm gonna hook around this way, because that's a more direct route, but. <sighs> Woo! Yeah, this is definitely class three. Definitely has some class three elements, at least if you're as short as I am, but. Woo! Fun, really fun. <sighs> I gotta find a safe final scramble to get up this. Okay, I just came up this, and yeah, this is um, this is definitely some sustained scrambling. Uh, I'm within sights of the summit, but yeah, this is definitely a scramble, and I mean, you can see the exposure. Uh, I'm not sure I recommend this for beginners, but this is fun. Huh, I can see the summit though, so this is fall summit. That's the actual summit, so just like 50 more feet of scrambling then I gotta walk the ridge but uh It's just an easy, easy route um, to the summit. That's the summit back there, so. Woo! Uh, the worst part is half behind us.
made it to the top of Tianaway Peak. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, the haze definitely did roll in. There is some haze, but wow, this is still an amazing view. Check out Mount Stewart. <laughs> yeah, so that's the section you have to scramble up the rock there and then you come up this ridge. Not worth it. And we have the summit register, so you get to sign that and I'm just gonna enjoy the summit while I have it and get some pictures and stuff and just enjoy this awesome peak. And then uh, on the way back down, I'll decide if I wanna go for Iron Peak or not, but woohoo, Tianaway! <sighs> Tianaway scrambles always deliver. <sighs> but I need a break, I need some food after all that. All right, well, here's the register. We got the log book. Let's see, we've got, we've got the register and let's see when the last person was up here. There are not a lot of pages here, so let me see. This is hard to do with one hand. 6, 11, 23. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the last party was up here on 6, 11, so. I'm up here on the 15th, so it's the exact middle of June. Play some heat waves for me while you watch this video. <laughs> um, but, oh man, that's so cool. Yeah, this is this definitely is not a very often done peak because usually when I do, um, when there's summer registers, I usually do more popular peaks and they're usually quite full, but this is, um, or it got replaced recently, but it's pretty small, so really cool to do something. A little bit more remote. Okay, so I will give the tour. So this is uh, the Tianway Valley going down into Clay Elum that way. That is looking west uh, back towards Snoqualmie Pass. And then we're getting into the Alpine Lakes Wilderness Peaks. You can see uh, Mount Daniel back there. And then here, I do not know the name of this peak. I'll figure it out. This is Fortune Peak, and then the Cragley Peaks there, those are Esmeralda Peaks. And then, um, sorry, those are Ingalls Peaks. Excuse me, Ingalls Peaks. Uh, and then down at the base of those peaks will be uh, Lake Ingalls, which I did um, this last year. And then this massive mountain here we have is Mount Stewart, looking beautiful. And then going over here, we have the Enchantment Peaks. We have... Uh, Argonaut, uh, Dragon Tail, and then Little Annapurna. So, and then back down the ridge, we have Iron Peak, and then very hazed out. Uh, on a clear day, you would have views of Rainier and stuff, but um, it seems the smoke had other plans. It is in the middle of June, so it is kind of spooky having some smoke uh, here, but. <sighs> The air is clean, so I am going to head back down and um, I'm probably not going to film too much of that because this is going to get uh, spicy, especially going down. I mean, I can do it, but I got to be careful and not rush. But if I do it fast enough, I'll go um, bag Iron Peak on the way back out because that's really easy. Just walk up. So um, wish me luck on this descent and uh, I will see you at the bottom. I 
survived the scramble, I actually found a much easier way um, going back down, which pro tip, if you're scrambling, go the hard way up and the easy way back down. <laughs> um, but overall, the scramble isn't too bad. The only thing I would say is that makes it um, a little more dangerous than some other ones is there's a lot of this loose material, like you were going through this half the time and that is very easy to slip on and then also uh it's definitely route finding like um there are no cairns so um if you don't really have experience uh route finding scrambling finding the right little gully and stuff to go up um you're gonna have a hard time so it's definitely a little bit more adventurous i wouldn't say it's too difficult but it is firmly class three uh and just the way i like it so that is the Tiana Peak Scramble, and I think I am going to go for iron. I'll just zip over there. It's like a quarter of a mile, and then uh, book it back down these switchbacks. Made it to the summit of Iron Peak. Um, summit's right behind me, a bag that letting someone else have the, the summit itself. But this is the view on the ridge and the smoke cleared up so we have a bit of a view going here. Um, so I can give a more comprehensive tour now. So Lower Tianaways, Alpine Lakes Wilderness, Mount Daniel, this peak here, that is Tianaway Peak where I just was. and. Mount Stewart cleared up for us, and then we have the Enchantment, so this one here is Dragon Tail, and then uh, Little Annapurna, and then this bump here on this ridge, that's Devil's Head, I was there last year. The notch there, that is Volcanic Neck, and then that is Bean Peak, I did that last year, and that is uh, Earl Peak, I believe, or Mary's Peak, uh, one of those. And then back around to the summit. Oh man. I am very glad I did this because I got some clear views of the Tianaways. That was 
Tianaway and Iron Peaks. And wow, I mean, the Tianaways never disappoint, but that was so much fun. The scramble was just interesting enough, but not too difficult. Although, once again, like I said, I don't think I would recommend the scramble unless you've done others before and you're confident in some route finding and stuff because there are no cairns or anything. Um, you want to kind of know what you're doing there. Um, but it wasn't too difficult. I wouldn't say it was very technical at all. It's definitely class three. Um, but then definitely worth it to go over to Iron Peak. I'm so glad that the haze cleared up. That is very weird for June, but I mean, we're in for a weird year, I think, overall. But going over to Iron Peak, getting those clearer views, getting a different perspective, and seeing the mountain goat. And I would say that also in hindsight, because there's just not much beta on Tianaway, um, in hindsight, I probably should have been wearing a helmet, and I would definitely recommend a helmet because there is a lot of loose rock and stuff like that. Um, so that I probably should have been wearing a helmet, but uh, I will remember that for next time. Um, anyway, Iron Peak, I highly recommend. That is very easy to do. This is a beautiful area. And wow, it is starting to feel like summer, middle of June, having so much fun out here in the mountains. So see you in the next one. Hopefully another scramble if I can swing that. But anyway, I've been going on long enough. Thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy. <laughs>